So you guys, uh, I just did this video about gunplay. Gunplay has been arrested for assaulting the woman who was next to him, which is his wife. He put a, uh, pointed a gun at her and at the six month old baby just because she told him to be quiet because he scared the baby while yelling, playing Call of Duty. And so he was drunk and et cetera, et cetera, and snapped off on them. When she grabbed a bag to leave, he basically held her at gunpoint in the apartment and she called the police. She has since got a restraining order, order on him and he has been arrested. But what got me was the comments. It's a lot of people who are talking about her drinking with him and basically kind of blaming her for the situation because he has a drinking problem. And so they felt like she was enabling him. A whole bunch of the other comments were people basically blaming her for putting it on social media saying, wow, and you will put all this on social media. I mean, you could have just said y'all separated or nothing at all because you don't owe us nothing, baby. But with having loyalty in your heart, no matter what, you're not supposed to move like this because these people don't care about you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You had people saying, why are you running to social media for validation? Why not leave y'all marriage in private? For real, for real. You're probably the problem, not him. The story is one-sided. And now we got to listen to all these single mothers give marriage advice. Someone else, which is a guy, these are two dudes, says, can't trust what a female say for shit. We all know how y'all are. It's getting old. Someone else says, why come put y'all business on the media? Another person says, baby, you been knew this about him. Another person says, listen, be serious or do not announce this private stuff if you're going to stay and give him chance after chance after chance. Now, mind you, when she made the post, she said, I never planned on speaking on this, but now that it is out, please keep us in your prayers. Thank you. Now, when Gunplay got um, arrested, the media immediately posted his arrest. OK, so this is not something that she just came out and talked about. She talked about it after it got posted all over the place by the media. But peep the code of silence that people expect for black women, especially they expect black women to get abused and not say anything. This woman had a gun point at pointed at her. She was held at gunpoint for telling a man to be quiet because he scared the baby playing Call of Duty. You got another comment from a guy saying, stay off the internet, damn. Another guy saying, shaking my head, just over a month ago, you were sticking beside him while he threatened DJ Envy for something so minor. Now you want the general public to feel sorry for you. Really? <laughs> another commenter says, it's a dude. That's wild to take his freedom away uh, from, take his freedom away from him over something that petty you could have came up with a better excuse to move on really <laughs> like ser seriously <laughs> another person says 23 hours ago according to your stories you was just at dinner toasting drinks and shots with him at dinner being an enabler and now that things went left you ran to social media to put everyone in y'all business and about him using drinking again girl bye Literally, this man arrest and these multiple charges he got was posted on all these different blog sites. Another person says, and it's a like, dude, that's still your husband. You should have not made this statement. Remember, the vow vows were for better or worse. This is why women don't want to get married. This is why they expect you to tolerate abuse and be quiet and not say anything. Another person says, <laughs> when will brothers learn to leave these gonocratic females alone? Shaking my head. SYSBM is the only way from, co uh, from complete peace. This man, gunplay, is drinking. He's a substance abuse user. And he pulled a gun on his wife and his baby. But women are the problem. Females are the problem. These are dudes, y'all. These are men that are saying these things. And some of these women, and we know what those women are. Another person says he cussed out a DJ for you, got Ricky Rose involved in everything all in front of the world. And you trying to embarrass this black man on social media. Our people are not OK, y'all. They ain't OK. They ain't OK. I just had to come show y'all this. They are. This is wild. Ah! 